and welcome to this week's vlog. Um, it's Thursday when I'm starting this, so a uh, bit of a late one, but I've had issues again with the gas. Long story short, I had the repairs team out. For one thing, they smelt gas, what I thought was dirt. Um, national gas people came out, because they always do for when gas suspected gas leaks. And yeah, turns out there was a leak in a pipe outside the flat that was coming up through my flat, through the hole where the meter was. Um, I've had gas men here Tuesday and Wednesday after work, so I haven't been able to update the vlog because there's been men in my flat. <laughs> um, sorting out issues, moving meters. Fingers crossed it's been sorted. I've come home today. It looks like they have started patching up outside, so and that is all fixed and I don't slowly uh, poison myself on gas again. Um, yeah, it, it, honest, I know this is a tangent but they did say it was a really small one and that they, that because they're little machines you know that they do check the meter, well gas, it didn't go off until they went like right to the ground so it's not just on me. Anyway, you're not here for that, you're here for reading. Um, so it's Thursday. I am currently 25% of the way through this book, I believe, and that book is The Sun and the Star by Rick Riordan and Mark Ashiro. This is about Nico and Will from the Percy Jackson Wills, who I love. It is about 500 odd, 500 odd pages, if I remember correctly. So I don't plan on finishing this like tonight or tomorrow. Um, my aim is to be 50% of the way through by the end of tomorrow, so by the time I go to sleep Friday. And then just smash the other 25%, well, the 50% I should say, Saturday and Sunday. Um, next week is the start of my three weeks off work, so I don't have to go to bed early Sunday. I can just read if I want to. Um, but if I don't finish by Sunday, I'm not that bothered. I can just add it to my uh, challenge for next week. I know I said in last week's vlog it would be spicy. I don't know why I said it was spicy. I I meant I had things to try and judge it a little bit, but they're my ideas. I've wrote them down and I'm second guessing them. Like I said, in this book, you follow Nico D'Angelo and Will, what is Will's? Will Solace from the Percy Jackson world. If you don't know about Nico and Will, um, spoilers, Nico is a son of Hades and Will is a son of Apollo and they have fallen in love and they're a lovely couple. Um, in this book, um, they travel to Tartarus to um, recover a lost friend called Bob. I won't spoil who Bob is. Um, basically, there's a prophecy and they could have these dreams and they have to go to Tartarus to try and rescue Bob and his cat. Um, yeah. From what I've seen online, this is both cry-worthy and happy-worthy and I'm just happy to be diving back into the Percy Jackson world. Um, I was surprised to pick this book up. If you saw last week's vlog, I was very much in a thriller cry mood. Um, woke up Monday, still had that feeling but not as strong and then Tuesday when I started this, I was like, I want a fantasy and I want a Rick Riordan fantasy but I didn't want to start Magnus Chase. Yes, Magnus Chase. Um, so yeah, I started this one. Happy Shelley. Um, so yeah, am I enjoying it at the moment? Yes. Um, it's very quick paced. I am enjoying it. I just, knowing that I've got like 400 pages left is scaring me a little, but also worrying, oh gosh, what's going to have happen in the more than 400 pages? Um, but it is gearing me up for the new Percy Jackson book coming out later this year, which I can't wait for. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go and read um, and I will update you when I get somewhere more through The Sun and the Star. Hello, um, Friday evening, quick update. I am now 52% of the way through <laughs> um, the sun and the star. I'm really enjoying it. It's such a nice, quick paced book, easy read. I'm I'm falling back in love with Will and Nico, not that I ever fell out of love with them. I'm loving the troglodytes, I'm just loving the story. Um, I potentially could read, well, I'm in the mood to read more tonight, but you may or may not be able to tell I have a stinking cold starting. I literally can't breathe out of this nostril. 
and I'm really tired. And I am planning to be awake at 2 o'clock in the morning. Why, you say? Because the Women's World Cup, the Football World Cup, is on in Australia and New Zealand at the moment. Kicked off yesterday. Ireland lost against Australia. Not a surprise, they're a really good team. Um, but I do like to watch some of the women's matches. I don't follow religiously. I don't follow the men's either religiously. But I do like to win some of the... Uh, win? I do like to watch some of the matches, especially the World Cup. Um, and America is a team I like to watch. I don't support them, but I like to watch them. They're on at 2 o'clock in the morning. And then there's two more matches. No, then there's a match. Or two matches. And then England is playing Haiti at half ten in the morning. So I'm hoping to watch the American match, go back to sleep, and then wake up in time for the England match. Obviously, I will set an alarm. Um, but yeah, but I am supporting the Republic of Ireland and England in this tournament. Um, I support both. When it comes to the men's, I normally just support Ireland until they get kicked out, then England, or if Ireland are interested in England, but for women's, I support both. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go to bed because it's nearly 10 o'clock and go flick it up when my alarm goes at 55. <sighs> Am I going to regret this? Probably. Do I care? No, because I'm not working this week. Or the week after. Or the week after. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go. So I'm going to get some sleep. And hopefully I will um, not make my cold worse by doing this hopeful watching of matches thing. But yeah, um, I will update you sometime tomorrow with where I get through the rest of some of the stuff. If I held it that way, that shows how much I think. So I apologise for the awful lighting, um, it is sad evening, it's 8 o'clock. I've just finished the Summer of the Star, 5 stars. I love this book, I love Nico and Will and the other host characters with me. I love Bob, I love Small Bob, I love finding out more about the underworld and Tartarus and, minus spoiler, Nico's relationship with his father and stepmother. Um, and again, minor spoiler, the interaction we got with Persephone and Will, I loved. Um, yeah. I love this story. It's, it was a story about Will and Nico going to rescue Bob, and actually it was a story of them walking through their relationship, and I loved it. Um, it was so nice being back in the Percy Jackson world, um, reading about characters in the world that I've loved and grown up with in the past 10 years or so, or more. <laughs> um, especially when I'm not feeling 100%. Um, I don't know if you tell, but I feel worse today than I did yesterday. Um, so just having a day to just read was great. I wasn't planning on finishing this, but I literally got to the 400 page back. I was like, I have 66 pages left, and why am I stopping here? So yeah, book number five of July, done. Um, I want, Like I always say, with anything to do with Percy Jackson, um, read it. If you have an inkling that you may like it or you want to read it, read it. Um, I know this one was written by Rick Riordan and Mark Ashero, I think. I think they kind of split chapters between them. Um, I know people say they can tell who wrote which chapter. For me personally, I couldn't. And I quite like that because sometimes when you can tell which author re writes for which character, it throws you out of, the, out of the world, out of the story, in my opinion. Um, so not being able to guess was so nice. Um, but yeah, five stars. So happy I picked this up. Um, I'm still in a mood read, though, to read a thriller another thriller or crime book and I have so many on my shelves where I'm like I just want to read you I just want to read you because it's nearly eight o'clock I don't think I will pick up another book tonight I say I think so if I come back tomorrow saying I started a book last night no come at me <laughs> um just because I kind of want to go to bed early tonight um there are more matches on tomorrow for the women's world cup but obviously I do D, D with a gang. I think we're just having a games day tomorrow, not D, &D so I kinda wanna be up at six to watch the first match. I can't remember who he's playing. Um and then get ready for that. So yeah. A decent night's sleep will be needed. Um I have also done a COVID test for this cold. Now you may think Michelle COVID is no longer a big thing. Why are you testing? 
um just because there are more and more people i'm hearing stories from that they're knowing people who have tested positive for it recently um and personally for me i wouldn't want to go out and about knowing i have covid and potentially spreading that to people um especially when you don't know what people's health is like and for me i have people close to me who a cold can like knock them out for a week or so so I'm just testing just on the safe side um but hopefully I test negative my cold's not bad tomorrow and I have a good night's sleep and I can go play games with the gang but also if I wake up feeling awful I do test positive I will not be leaving the flat um which will suck but yeah so yeah tangent over hopefully the next time you see me it'll be tomorrow and i'll be saying i've started this book and i will not finish it tonight um because i haven't tested positive and i'm feeling better and i have gone out for the day um but like i said if the next clip is me tomorrow morning going well i started this book last night don't come at me okay i'm i'm on i'm on the reading roll <laughs> i don't want to stop it um but yeah i'll update you when the next update is sometime tomorrow hopefully <laughs> hello it's sunday um sorry if you can hear my dryer in the background it is 10 past seven um i am feeling a bit congested still for my cold um i am a bit coffee today so i know my cold is progressing greatly um but yeah i'm actually about to start my book for the day i didn't end up reading last night which was good i literally went straight to bed and it was the best thing i could have done should I do that tonight? Yes, but I'm in a reading mood, so I'm just going with it. Um, so do you know how I was saying for this month, I'm going to try and not read books I got for my birthday? It's gone out the window because I'm still in my crime thriller mood and I want to read another Riley Sega book. And this book was kindly gifted to me for my birthday by Sophie and her partner Callum. And it's the only real Riley, and it's the only Riley Sega book I have that I haven't read. Um, there's only one more I think that he's published that I haven't read yet, that I haven't bought, so getting that list down. Um, but the book is Lock Every Door, um, and the synopsis is No Visitors, No Nights Spent Away From The Apartment, No Disturbing The Other Residents. These are the only rules for Jules Larson's new job as apartment sitter at the Bartholomew, one of Manhattan's most high-profile private buildings and hopes the rich and famous. Recently heartbroken and practically homeless, Jules readily accepts the terms. When a neighbour confides the Bartholomew's dark history, Jules brushes it off as a harmless ghost story. But the next day, her new friend has vanished. And then Jules discovers that her friend is not the first pet resident to go missing. Um, so yeah, it is 370 pages. I think I should be able to smash this out by midnight. It's a Riley Sagan book. I fly through them when I put my mind to it. So... Chloe from Chloe Reads Books it has some straights on so I will chuck them on and just read. Um but I finally got my gift from Ada for my birthday. We haven't really seen we have well we haven't seen each other since my birthday and she got me the BTS book with some stray kids things. So uh, I'm gonna show you the BTS book. I did tell Ada I would read it today, but I want to read Riley, so I will read BTS next week, but I will just grab the book. I did get photo cards as well, but I haven't opened them yet. Um Obviously, it's not to do reading, so I won't show you that, but it'll be a book. Ah. Here it is, in all its hardback glory. It's a chonker. It's over 500 pages. It, I had a quick scan Um, at the back. It's quite big, hence the reason, another reason why I'm like, I'll read it next week. Um, Yeah, 496 writing, but obviously 500. Um, So, yeah, quite looking forward to this one. Um, Yeah. <laughs> So like I said, I will read this next week, so if you are not into K-pop, I apologise for the um, fan I will turn into next week. Um, but yeah, I will update you tonight when I finish Lock Every Door and give you my thoughts. It's been an hour since the last update, dear. I lied about finishing this today. I've read 99 pages and I can feel my eyes drooping. So I'm going to probably read a few more pages, but end this vlog here because I'll probably read a couple more chapters and then zonk out. Saying that, a good week for me. I read and finished The Sun and the Star, five stars. I love the Percy Jackson world. I will tell everyone to recommend it to everyone. Um, and I started another book that I should hopefully finish pretty soon and I can start BTS next week. So I'll end this vlog here. Um, 
There may be a TBR video for August <laughs> coming up next week. Not promising anything, but I'm kind of wanting to film a TBR video. Um, I know there are readathons on next month. Um, the Royal Readathon is back, and there's a couple more. I've never seen videos, but I haven't really looked into them because I'm not interested in readath readathons. Um, so it probably will just be a here's a video of the books I think I will read this month. Um, I might even just pick out the TBR, my my TBR, and then if they connect to Royal Readathon, great. If they don't, oh well. But I haven't even looked at that video. But anyway, tangent. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go. But thank you for watching this video, and until the next video, bye.